I was just about to shower. I honestly fully undressed. And then I remember that Ruggie is still sick, so I go home and shower with him. Which kind of I don't know how that's the segue, but I thought about this as I was leaving the gym. I saw this clip from Simon or like Mini Minter. Um, a guy on the side, man, he's a UK YouTuber. Anyway, I guess it was a compilation of him like showing that he fell out of love with making YouTube videos uh, because YouTube essentially became, it moved from being a hobby to a place of work. And when you're working in a team, I imagine, and I was listening to the their manager talk, and they have a pretty fixed regimen, regimen, regiment, to make videos. And like, I... Like, you can see how someone falls out of love with it. When it becomes that structure of you have to be working at this time, it somewhat takes away from the reason you did it in the first place. Like, for me, one of the main reasons that I've been wanting to get out of a 9-to-5 job is because I haven't wanted to work. You know, be stuck at a desk those hours of the day and doing work that I don't really want to do. So... You know, doing social media now full time, it's definitely shifted slightly because, like today, I'll have my laptop back in. I'll have lunch with someone I used to work with, but that will essentially be the end of full time employment for me. What are we doing? Why are we going so slowly? What are you doing? Oh shit! What is that in the road? Should I get it out the road? Yeah, I guess I should. been toolbox in the road. Get me out of here. I'm getting... Well, I know right there I just saved a couple of hundred thousand lives. So, what was I saying? What gibberish was I talking? Yes, which leads into when I finish work on Friday. I kind of finished the video saying that I would like to do two things over the weekend. One of which was to find an editor on Fiverr. And the next was to, I think it was to film the needle mat video. And like I kind of had plans to do that. And if my wife had gone to church Sunday morning, you know, and taken Rugi with her, then I would have done that. But as it was, Rugi was pretty sick all weekend. And so being in this position, I get to pick and choose where and when I work. And I just wanted to chill out with Shay and Rugi instead of making that video, instead of doing that stuff. And I know I should, there's, there's, I know there's this idea that you should have like a full structure to what you're doing in terms of on this day you shoot, on this day you plow, on this day you edit, blah, blah, blah. But I think to me, that just feels more like work. Like I, I want to push myself to be in a position where, turn this off, sorry. I am doing something because I really want to do it, not doing something because it gets views or it's what I should be doing according to someone else. You know, or maybe it is actually the right thing to do, I just don't want to do it. And so, that consistency. You know, people talk about, go on different rants here. People talk about discipline, don't they? And like, that's how you achieve and get more things done. And I would agree. But do you, do you want to live a life of that full discipline or do you want to be more free in how you go about doing things? I think having discipline gets you through those tasks you don't really want to do. But it doesn't necessarily mean you're having fun doing the thing. 
I tell you, I would eventually like to be at a t- point in my life where anything I don't want to do, within reason, I can hand off to someone else. I can have someone else take care of who is number one, better at it than I am and actually enjoys doing it too. Right now, we're gonna go home, get Rugi sorted, bit of, bit of brekkie, <laughs> and then get stuck into the needle mat video. And I think the first one is gonna be pretty basic. I think it's gonna be a lot of recap and I'm going to put the focus on explaining the process. Because I feel like that's, that's not something I did a very good job of last time. I think I was too focused on the story. And actually a load of people wanted to know how it worked, like what was the real process, but I wasn't sure how to, and I wasn't ready to commit to making a video that was outside of my norm. But I feel like now, I mean, this was like four months ago that I last did this. And now I feel a lot more confident, confident in what I'm doing. Well, you know, we'll see how this goes in a few minutes. But I feel like I can make this work and keep it within the realm of what I'm currently doing. Day one, normal needle mat. Day two is the Red Bull. And then day three is the race against the Anchor Power Bank. And then day four and day five, I can't remember what day four is. Maybe it's like loud noises. And then day five is the kaleidoscope patterns to try and change what the hallucinations look like. And I think this would be a good opportunity to get people commenting on what they would like to see me do while I'm doing it. And that gets people involved. I'm still getting so many comments from the magnet fishing video where I like make the joke of calling the cops to try and help get my magnet off. So many people thinking I'm stupid for making a joke of, I guess they didn't realize it's a joke, of calling the cops to get the magnet off. Yeah, definitely wouldn't be doing that. I feel like I'm always playing this game of catch up. Like, get the needle mat video prepped, shot, and then I'm rushing out to lunch. And then I'll come back, review it, post it this afternoon. Lining up for Wednesday, because I need to get these two videos out. Like the idea of getting loads of stuff done. Do I need to get a picture of this? I guess so. The idea of making like 10 videos in advance and then just having them stacked up, ready to go at the right time. Just, I hate that idea. Cause it's like, as soon as I'm done with something, I want to just post it. Otherwise I'll continuously come back to it again and again and again. And there's always going to be something to change. And then, Now, you could argue that's a good thing because then you're like fixing things constantly that need to be fixed. But actually, you're you're then putting yourself into a place of wanting to get perfection and you never end up posting anything and you never end up getting that feedback and you never know if what you did, like what you made a decision on first was actually a good decision. And then you just become a... I don't know. I was going to say a winky salad, but... So I think, you know, if you ever met my friend group, God forbid you ever do, my friend group from England, I think you all realize that we're all pretty weird people. But isn't that what our like initial friend group is? It's all about just a couple of weird people that just found each other. They decided to cling on to each other because they each had nothing else either. Gosh, uh, that's not, I don't feel like that's the reality. That's not, that's not my friends. <laughs> How dark was that? <laughs> Bottle stock in the light. I think I need to, I think I really need to do something about this fat light. Like if I just go over here, it's so dark these days. Like it's just so huge over my desk and I don't, I don't need that kind of oppression, you know? It's 2023, everyone should cater to me. Bro, bars like that could become a rapper. All right, this video is what we are focusing on next. Now, I kind of mentioned in the car, but before the flipping toolbox almost 
killed me. You know, I actually, I felt kind of bad because I beeped at the person, I tooted my horn at the, at the person in front of me. And I was like, get out of the way, move on, what are you slowing down for? And uh, they slowed down for the massive toolbox that was in the road. But you know, because I'm, you know, I'm just a better, I'm just a better human than most people. So I stopped to take out the road, became a hero. Ugh, I just can't wait to see the newspapers this morning, everyone talking about local famous, nah, local weirdo saves thousands, hundreds of thousands. Just look out for it. Okay, let's make a note of the important things, right? I think, did I save this picture? Let me have a quick, quick little look in here. I forgot in the first version of this series, I threw in a little joke, a little um, Dylan Mulvaney joke. Quite enjoyed that one. There was also a My Chemical Romance joke in there too. What more could you want? Oh yeah, day two I actually got super creative. I bought a pinball machine to talk about the ADHD thoughts in my head. Wow. Okay, I'm just... Hyper embarrassment here, okay? I'm gonna screen record my file system here. So the first one, I actually recorded back in 13th of April, so say April, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So pretty much, yeah, five, seven months ago, not that I had to count on my fingers. And I said, what, three or four months in the car earlier? So I'm looking for one clip here of my computer screen that kind of shows the actual, um, process. Wow, I didn't realize I did that for the first video. Please like, please don't tell me I have to go back through. That is the breathing. Okay, let's just find the product again. I feel like this is the wrong Amazon account. Bro, what on earth are those? Accounts, orders, three months, oh, figured out. All of 2023, I didn't replace any orders on that account. I don't know why I have so many accounts. Also, I've just seen here, I was looking at a place to fly my drone at when we're done with, um, when I'm done with lunch, I see the future home of the KC Current Stadium. It's gonna be by the Missouri River. Maybe we'll go and check that out. Now, I have some thoughts about women's sports and I'm not just kind of talking about this for the sake of talking about it, but I made this video Uh, where is it? Yeah, here, the fastest football shot. So it's the women, fastest women's football shot. Clocked in at like 17 miles an hour, 110 kilometers per hour. So two and a half million views on this one. And I went out and tried to do it and I got like, I don't know, 50 miles per hour. A lot of people said that the machine I was using didn't really, it doesn't, like, it doesn't do a very good job of tracking the actual speed. Um... But then at the end of the video, I say these women should get more credit, right? Like, gosh, this, she had a pretty hard shot. I went to go see some friends and she was like, I see where you are now, like thinking there should be equal pay in women's sports. This was a girl that was saying it to me. I don't think there should be equal pay in women's and men's sports. That's, that's a pretty crazy, that's not a blanket statement, right? For the entertainment value 
I think the money that these players are played purely comes from the money coming in from the entertainment they provide. Like, I'm sorry, if playing Scrabble doesn't bring in as many people as playing soccer does, then you shouldn't get paid the same. I don't care. It doesn't matter how much effort you put in. That's like me. That's like saying, for me in my case, oh, this guy, he films a video every single day, but he's just terrible at editing and doesn't know how to work social media. He should get paid the same, the same as, I don't know, Zach King. Zach King, you know, gets millions, tens of millions of views per video. He should get paid the same, right? Because I put in the effort. No, it's, it's stupid. You don't bring in the same attention. You don't get the same eyes. And this is all, <laughs> hair falling out. This is all ad money. So I don't think, for 99% of cases, I don't think women should be paid the same amount as men. This is what I was looking for. Nice little tangent, wasn't it? All right, so 10 to 20 seconds, the skin feels prickly and uncomfortable. 20 to 40 seconds. So this is exactly what I want to be able to walk through in this video. So I'm actually gonna do it, lie down, have the experience, and that's what we're going to do. And why it's so dark. I could just open curtains, couldn't I? Okay. Give me stuff out of the way. I tell you, I'm going to go off on another tangent for a second. I know time is kind of not on my side, but I think we can get this done. This was the second camera I ever started vlogging with. And I love this so much. The Canon G7X, the original one. I could just, I feel like, just look at the form factor difference of these two. This one, I hate walking around with this because it's, it's so wide. But this one's a little bit more inconspicuous. I could just buy this one again, but look. I gotta focus. I just destroyed the screen. Oh. I wish um, they would do another one of these, but with a flip up screen. They probably have some, I just need to look, don't I? They all used to be. Like a lot of Sony cameras used to be like that with the, oh, what am I doing? With the flip up screen, I loved it. And I, I really would like something like this, this size, to be, to have a much wider lens. I think this one says it's a, yeah, uh, I thought it was a 24 millimeter, but I think that ends up being, I could be talking completely out my ass here. I think that ends up being a 35 millimeter. I don't remember, but it's not wide enough. And like this one, this lens, I am, so if I have my hand here, oh my goodness, I'm, how do I show you this? I'm probably like that far to the side of the lens and maybe like that far away from the lens. So if this is the lens, my hand is about, line this up about this far in front of the lens and about this far apart from the lens that's how wide it is wow mind blown gar, gar. that kind of hurt um, I do for goodness sake I'm sorry my one of my friends is having a baby and I haven't replied to the group so I'm basically a really bad friend I should read it before I send him an individual message all right I'll mark that in my calendar and we'll send them some uh, food um, shouldn't be.
recording now still. Whoops. <laughs> 24th. Um, Org baby. Let's do it at one o'clock hour time is when it's going to go off. And then I'm not sure how long they stay in the hospital, but I'll do maybe. I think she's going to have her mum there for a week. I thought they. I heard them saying. Let's say the 31st. Oh, that's Halloween. So maybe the day after Halloween, send them food. Send Morg food. I think the older I've gotten when it comes to, um, like I've wanted to message my friends more. Not because I feel, excuse me, I'm probably coming down. Um, not because like I'm lonely, but because I just feel like it's easy to get lonely, especially in the world we live in. Yeah, oh, goodness sake. I'll come back to that, all right? Just let me finish this. I'm literally making a calendar invite event to come back to that this afternoon, okay? Because poor you, you've been dealing with me chatting rubbish all morning. Um, messaging friends later in life. I'm going to add a note. So the goal of the last series was to, was just to gain mind control, wasn't it? To be able to hallucinate. Um, so previous try to oh no it wasn't we didn't know about the hallucinating at that point did I I was just gaining mind control new or season two is gonna be Ness good word season two is about challenging mind control so what if oh, it's kind of a it's a like a semi lie now because because i filmed the third part in this series i know that i can overcome at least one of these challenges so like if my flaw is that, I don't know, um, what am I not confident? And then, oh, no, I feel like with these, I don't want to get too deep right now, but I feel like with the with these stories, I can either go. I feel like I'm half and half. I can either go, fully go the direction of let's make a like a really cool story, com like almost completely made up apart from this section, like the actual experience, and then that way it'll get you know, it'll do the job of getting more views. Or I make this a bit more natural. Hmm. I literally turned my camera off to go to the bathroom. And while in there, I got this email asking in five days, so less than five days, I'd have to leave and go to an event in a hot air balloon for one of their products. Now, that would be nuts. Like, don't get me wrong. That would be crazy. And I would love doing that. But one of the questions I'm asking myself is, one, does it pay enough that I would want to take that time away from family? And does it pay enough that my wife would be like, hmm, I'll get myself something nice after, after you're back from that. 
So, yeah, just like sent across the estimates for travel and whatnot to my manager. And he's going to work that out, so we'll see. We'll see how that turns out, but I've only got an hour and 15 before I need to leave again for this. So we know that the previous one was about gaining mind control, which we succeeded on getting. So now is a case of challenging it. We didn't really challenge it last time. We did everything to try and get to mind control. So um, the flaw of me is that I get distracted easily. I don't really like using the whole ADHD thing as a, um, a way to get views. Like it's a part of me and I, you know, it's just is what it is, but I don't like, yeah. My flaw is that I've got ADHD and then at the end of it, I'm freaking superhero. Like no dude, that doesn't make sense. Strength is that, um, can overcome. Trust the process. Okay. So our want, um, if I've done this lots before, do I call it, I feel like calling it season two is too like proper. This needs to just be armor dude lying on a needle mat again. So my want is should we do like can I deal with the pain again? Want is to deal with Pain, right? You see we have the overall goal, which we have to slip in, is to challenge the mind control. Excuse me. Um, but the setup wants something that we can achieve and so that the viewer thinks that we're making progress or feels like we're making progress. We go to deal with the pain. Point of no return is lying down. Oh, hang on one sec. All right, to deal with the pain, I start lying down. The catch is that it's worse than I remember. And then I go into the different phases. Um, or, no, I feel like I need to get into the first like 10 to 20 seconds. So first 10 to 20 feel prickly. Uh, 20 to 40 moves blood, body moves blood. What's up, Duda? <laughs> what up, Duda? I, I could just go straight down this list, but there are a couple of things that I want to bring in. I want to bring in, first of all, what the other challenges are going to be in terms of like drinking the Red Bull, the charger. And I also, I want the user to, I want the viewer to know what's like what the expectation is, or is that something I keep under wraps? Because I think the question people are going to be asking is like, why would you do this? Um, to deal with the pain, and it's worse than I remember. Yeah, I feel like that's the information that you hold on to because people are going to want to know why. So the first 10 to 20, you start to feel prickly, 10 to 40, 20 to 40, the body moves blood by one to two mins. Feel sun 
burned. And um, should the crisis point be that I'm now trying to get into the hallucination stage? Dude, what is your problem, dude? Try getting into hallucinations. But then the, the climactic choice is that I... Okay, I don't want this to be a difficult thing in this video. But then what if I... Dude, I was getting really needy. Like I make it happen, I get into the hallucinations, and then I think through like wanting to challenge myself. Right, so maybe... Yeah, but when I'm in the hallucination stage... Dude, I cannot pet you while I'm doing this, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> okay, because once I'm meant because I didn't put that in my head, when I'm mentally in that hallucination stage, I'm not thinking about anything else, which means I shouldn't be thinking about anything else for here. Or do I do I come out of body and I'm just talking to the camera? Okay, so I could either keep doing this for five days, or the banana is that I challenge myself to main tain mind control, right? I think, I don't think I need to ask the viewer to put down like what they think I should do to challenge myself. I think that's a given and people will just take the liberty of doing that. So if I say here, next I'll try shotgunning Red Bull. hallucinate or whatever. Right? So I think before I leave in about an hour, I just need to film myself doing it. I'm not, I'm not trying to do anything special. I'm not getting interrupted. But I do need a blanket because it's bloody cold. The banana. So within the banana here, I want to include something about my strength here. Which could be trusting the process. No, let's... I don't know if it's about it's hard because in real life, I don't doubt myself in the things I do. That does, I know that I can come across the wrong, wrong way. I trust that I have the skills and the mental ability to overcome a lot of things. That doesn't mean that I can do everything. It just means I think, I feel like I know when I can't do something. But I also know when I can do something. Yeah, I think in this one, it's a case of just trusting the process that you know will get you there, or like enjoying the process. Excuse me. Yeah. Don't enjoy process. Enjoy the process. I think that's really important. Okay. Once again, I think we are not filming in chronological order.
battery notification is going to pop up any second, isn't it? No? Normally when you use fakey batteries with this camera, you get a notification. There it is. Bye. And we're back. All right. So I don't, obviously, you know, I, well, I don't like filming out of chronological order. So I don't like filming clips that are not shot in the way they're going to be edited. Now I do because sometimes that's what makes it easier in life. But in this case, I'm just going to shoot the needle map bit and then I'm going to get any further shots after the fact because I want to get this part shot. The cool thing is, is that I actually really like doing this. Like I've been wanting to do this kind of relaxation for a long time. That right there. Okay, let's get level. Like there's a very large part of me that would like to, um, what's it called? Like every morning, meditate, ice bath, sauna, all that good stuff. I like this angle because it's on my face and that Shrek Crocs for your boy. Get some light out of here. And then, I don't know, I don't want it to be as dark as it was last time. So I think I'm going to pull this light. Oh, dude. Is it, how dark is it? Is it super dark? It is pretty dark, isn't it? But at least we have the light coming from over here. Maybe I'll just, I'll brighten this up a bit over here. Like now. Makes the room a little bit lighter. And now I just need to, I'll sit here and I'll, I'll sit with you while we do this. Okay. I want to, I'm doing it again because I want to be able to deal with the pain. I think we just screw it, we film the process. Like maybe I'll get a shot of me touching it with my hand, yes. And then we'll lie down. I'll do my reaction to lying down. And then as I'm just like sleeping, maybe I'll make some different movements, like shifting my back because it's prickly as we talk through all the different, what happens at the different times. And then the crisis. Uh, so now I want to get into the hallucination. Climactic choice is that I want to do this for five days. I keep just doing it normally for five days because it does help relax me, relax me, <laughs> relax me. But the banana is that I want to challenge myself to maintain mind control through, to enjoy the process, even though there are challenges involved. Yes. And the finale is that I do it this time and the next one, I'll try shotgunning a Red Bull before I lie down to hallucinate. And I should say that as I'm here. Okay. Let me get shot. I'm going to try and fly the FPV a bit later, by the way. Um, that's why the batteries are charging. So I think we just get into recording this. I'll just like, maybe I'll film this here. I'll do that again. Very nice, Oliver. That was a that was a great bit. Okay, and then I just um, start getting ready with this on my. How are we looking at? Yeah, we're looking good there. So take that off. Jing, oh. keys. I forgot how painful this was. Oh, it's just so uncomfortable. 
Oh, baby. Ah, oh, that's not comfy. I shouldn't have done that. Ah. Oh. Oh, man. Okay, let's just put the mic here. Shrek Crocs are... Ah, oh, I can feel the sunburn coming in. Just wish it would come with a tan. Well, it's a good job I don't need a tan. Should restate that, actually. Found a funnier way to say it. Oh, I can feel the sunburn coming in, but it's a good job I don't need a tan with this fake sunburn. Wasn't delivered very well. Oh, I can feel the sunburn coming in. That wasn't very good either. Missed the right certain part of it. Oh, I can feel the fake sunburn coming in. Good job I don't need a tan. Nailed it. I forgot a huge part of this. My phone. I didn't even start the timer. Oh God. That was crazy I was there as well. Except this time the flashing, the pulsing was like coming from the, ah, oh, coming from like the bottom here up into my eyeballs. Like across my eyeballs. I I need this to go off, so I'm not gonna have to fake it. Well, I've still got it. So next, I'll try shotgunning a Red Bull first. Dude, my back is sore now. No. Oh. Look at that. That looks really sore. I don't even know how long I was down there for. But I had this. I had this idea while I was doing that. Oh my gosh, let me put on a shirt for a second. Um, I had this idea of getting a shot. I know I'm not on camera right now, but if I get a piece of paper, my back. Oh gosh, where is a piece of paper? Under here. Like either a, pe either a piece of paper or a piece of paper towel and rub it over the needles as a shot and see what happens. I don't know if paper will cut the way I want it to. Go, go, do that. I'll try it on my phone right now. Then I have to leave. Ow! Actually did cut me. Oh, I get really hurt. Hi, do da. So that was no good. Let's try it with a piece of paper towel. Hi, do da. You know, you actually have this idea, or I could lightly cover the top in blue paint and then put a piece of paper over the top to see how sharp they are. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how this one goes. That one, that's definitely no good, is it? Ow. I really, I think, I might try and get a shot of, yeah, if I get a piece of paper, cover it in blue paint, tap it to the top of here, so there's blue paint on the top, and then use another piece of paper to put down that will show just how sharp the points are. Hello, Duda. Bro, you're taking over my screen. I'm the main fan. Is that the way we do it, Duda? Because I have to leave, I have to leave right now. Excuse me, so, yeah, let's do that. I'll leave you here. Hello, dude. I love you. <laughs> do you... I feel like I, whenever I go anywhere, I map it. I always map it. Like, I know exactly the route there. Uh, it's kind of debatable. But just for the purposes of traffic. This is what I do. And, you know, I was talking about this kind of system, like, when I have the money, I'd like to upgrade certain parts of my system that make things much more useful. Like, this, I have some weird thing going on. I'll show you it afterwards, or like when I arrive. But I'd like to have it just stuck on here. 
fact that this whole thing right here is kind of annoying. But we did get some, we got the bit shot that we needed to. Go for like, I mean, I kind of wanted to have it edited first as well, so that when I come back from this, I can look at it with a new fresh set of eyes. That's what happens when you eat lunch, you get a new fresh set of eyes. But I think I'll get home quick up, quick up a super quick edit. Do a ma major quick edit and then take a little time off, review, Bob's your uncle. That's what I'm thinking. There's also two places I want to check out when I'm going up to downtown today. Uh, is there nothing else I have to return? No. Number one is... Like, casinos in this country are super weird. I never go to them, but there's a couple that are boats just outside of downtown area, so I'm gonna have a look at those. And then also, I found some new five-a-side playing courts that were put up recently. And we're gonna go and look for one of those as well, because that might be a cool place to make a video. I don't think I've quite felt the brunt of it yet, but today being like since I'm handing my laptop in for work, I think that really marks like that I'm done with the nine to five from now, which changes what I do as like a hobby as fun, which is making the videos. It changes that into, you know, my career, my job, needing to do that to earn money, which yeah, I don't think it's really set in yet because I'm still, you know, I still see it as fun. And I, I want, like, something I really want is to keep pushing it to be just fun. You know, just making videos about the things I want to. But I feel like that's on me. And the only way that it's going to become that is if I start chasing, like, video concepts and ideas and brands that I don't really align with. I feel like I need to reiterate this every time, but when I talk about this, the way I want to live, the way I want to do this work, I understand that that would be a very privileged position to be in, to not have to clock in and do work when it's neat, like every day. To be able to pick and choose what you want to do. But like that's, <laughs> whether I can get there or not, that's everything that I've been working toward. I've been doing a job alongside this content for the past eight years because I've enjoyed doing it and because I've wanted to get myself to a place where it's not forcing myself to make money each week or month just to pay the bills. Like I think for people who decide they're gonna quit their job one day and then go into making content, that must be so stressful. Like if you haven't been doing it for a long time, you have to figure so much out and you've got the added pressure that you have to be making money too. Whereas if you, let's say I've done it my way, you understand the ins and outs, you understand what you need to do differently, you understand how to analyze the situations and make changes appropriately. Like I'm quite fortunate to have put myself in a situation, and this is nothing compared to the huge creators but for me, if I need to make more money in a month, I just knuckle down and make a couple more videos. But like the offset of that is that I'm splitting time between work and my family and other things that I may want to do. And they say, you know, burnout's a real thing. Real freaking thing. And the goal is to never end up there. Because if you're getting to a place of burnout, I feel like you've just been pushing yourself too hard and you haven't been enjoying it. You haven't enjoyed the process. 
I don't want that smoke, bro. I don't want that stress, bro. Hey, yo. We're gonna make this corner. Oh, NASCARing it in this corner, the only corner. That's something I need to go to, a NASCAR race. People say how amazing they are and how loud it is. And I'll tell you what, from anyone who doesn't know anything about NASCAR, you look at it and go, what a stupid race where you just go round in a circle. But from what I've heard, it's pretty freaking cool to watch. But I feel like that's most American sports, isn't it? You, they're fun to watch because it's all about drinking. Like American football, the number of bloody breaks in there, or we'll just call it football, number of breaks in there for ads, unreal. Uh, and it's all about bring, drinking during that time. Before the game even starts, it's about going out and drinking for six hours or so. Same with baseball. Uh, I have been to watch an ice hockey game. An NHL game? Or I feel so stupid. I know everyone here just calls it hockey. A hockey game? But that... That seemed kind of slow. Now, if there are any NHL partners that are like, come and watch a game, I'm sure I'll love it. I have to say, though, watching Sporting KC, which is the soccer team in Kansas City, that was a really good experience. I really enjoyed that. Even my wife did. She has no love for soccer. And honestly, I at that point, I never, I didn't really enjoy watching it. I lost, I fell out of love with soccer. Thocker, soccer. Since making a few TikToks about it, I've fallen back in love with it. I think I started falling back in love with the boots, like the cleats that we used to buy. Oh, there were some gorgeous boots that I used to have. And like I see some of them now, up until very recently, I've been like, these look hideous. But recently, like the, I think the new Predator Accuracy and the Crazy Fast, the blue ones. Woo! I think they're called the Marine Rush pack or something. Those are gorgeous. Actually, my, I've got, it, when I was younger, playing soccer at a pro level was like the goal, was pretty much every kid's goal. But then obviously you realize that you're not good enough to go pro and you start focusing on other things. But growing up as a kid, I always wanted to be sponsored by Adidas. As soon as I got this one pair of really expensive boots, they were 60 pounds at the time and I was size five and a half. So at the very top end of kids sizes. So they were 60 pounds instead of 120, which were the adults. And my grandma bought them for me birthday, for my birthday. I slept in them that night. And ever since having those, I haven't bought any other kind of boots aside from Adidas. And so what if, like I could never get sponsored by Adidas as a kid because I just wasn't good enough, that now that I'm 32, Adidas sponsor a video. I'm like, yeah, dude, we'd love to make a video with you. You're, you're so cool. And I'd be like, thank you guys. I knew you'd finally notice me. That would be sweet. That would be like a dream come true. But until then, just a poor little boy. Let's just... Maybe we can just cut that out. I tell you what, I do not miss driving up and to and from downtown. It's like a 30 minute journey from my house. I'm not into it. I don't care for it. It was actually, I'd say it was kind there was a nice part of it, which is, which is that it divided up the day. It's like you had a very clear start to your day 
like of going to work and then a very clear end of finishing work and I used to go straight to the gym after work this was before we had a baby and then we had a dog so I would drive home from work see the dog take her for a walk and then I would go to the gym when Shay got home from her work but the idea now that we would waste an hour five days a week it's 20 hours a week that's almost that's over a whole day driving to and from work that's is that 20 hours a month yeah five times four is 20 yeah wow that's gross that's terrible just driving to a place to get work done for someone else you know and also to pay my bills oh yeah we were talking about friends earlier weren't we and like meeting up or texting and I was thinking since COVID our lives have turned into a pretty you don't go out very much we don't go out that much at all and I know my friends don't do a huge amount either just because life has changed like it's so much easier to stay at home the whole day and that's why I think it's so much more important to stay in touch just see how things are going for other people. Like, I think guys are different to girls. Like, you don't necessarily need that. And honestly, it would be kind of annoying if you had someone texting you once a month. Like, hey, what's up, dude? Just checking in, see how you're doing. That's, that's, that's annoying. <laughs> but I think every couple of months, just seeing how someone's doing. No, I don't. I am honestly not very good at this, but maybe it's something I should start doing. I also saw this, I guess, I don't know how we got in conversation. I don't know how we got in conversation about girls' is only fans, but one of my friends and I, I think, I think I started the conversation because I'd seen a video of this girl who was an OF girl and she was essentially, I don't know if I would say it was complaining because it seemed more of she was just sharing how her life kind of sucked after a good few months of being an OF girl, model, whatever you call them. She said that like, to begin with, all the guys think you're really cool because you're like the OF girl of the group. But girls don't really want to be around you because they you know, have judged that you've decided to do that. She's like, well, that's fine. Um, but then as it goes on, and like your guy friends start to get girlfriends, those girlfriends don't want their guy hanging around an OF girl. And so they start to slowly disappear. And then eventually you get to a place where no one wants to be around an OF girl. And she was then going on to say how they would, like different agencies would book trips just for these OF girls to go and shoot content but it was actually more of like a getting these girls together because they were so lonely. And I guess as a content creator, it's somewhat similar, right? You, you're mostly, unless you have a team, you're working on your own all day. And then who do you speak to about the content unless you have other creator friends to talk to? Like if you're single, you're probably not really leaving your house unless you do, you know, flipping interview style TikToks or content in which you're forced to meet other people but like when you look at your favorite TikToker they're probably a hermit <laughs> they just spend most of their time inside working but it's not you know it's not just work it's fun they're, they're doing their hobby and their hobby just happens to be th something inside now I've I realized a couple of years ago, this is why I switched up my content from doing photo and video type posts on TikTok and to YouTube, to doing what I would call side quests, which are things that I just take an idea of something I want to do and just going and doing that. It could be like this needle mat series. I know I wouldn't even have to leave my room for it. It could be the magnet fishing series where I'm literally in a boat in, I'd say one of the 
dodgiest, but also the most upscale parts of Kansas City. Just sit in a rubber dinghy, just going down the stream. To, oh, my first brand deal that had enough budget in it for me to actually like travel somewhere and have stuff left over. So it was with the DJI for one of their drones. I'm not sure if I can say the amount yet. I have to look through the contract. But it was low four figures. But it allowed me to buy a flight out to Colorado, hire a car, go up to the mountains, food and whatnot, hotel, and just make a video for them. And I just remember, that was so cool. It's like a brand just paid me to go and make a video for them where I got to travel to a cool place and I got to keep money. Like this is happening. This is really happening. That's so cool. Everything before that was like a couple of hundred dollars. I mean, it wasn't really like a tipping point as such for me. I always knew that like, I knew that I would persevere and I knew that I would, that I would figure out content creation to be able to get to that point. But it was still one of those moments that was like, you know, you've done it. You have achieved one of your goals. Gave myself a nice little pat on the back. Good boy, Oliver. What have we got? The blimmin' London Eye here. Wow. That's so cool. I know people complain about Kansas City being a small city and there's not really much here. Like we were in Denver a couple of weekends ago and it was just, I always wanted to move to Denver straight out of college. And number one is just a ridiculously expensive city. And number two, driving, horrendous. Not a good place to be driving. It, actually, I think this was the same time I was shooting that DJI video. I went to, like I, I told our friends that I was in town if they wanted to go and get dinner and they said like, scrap your hotel, come and stay with us, which was of course very nice of them. So I did. And as I'm driving from the mountains through Denver to get to them, you have the toll roads. And it's like, it's just a one lane, they call it a fast lane, I think. And essentially you break it down you can choose to pay to save time. So if you don't want to be stuck in traffic and you have the means, you can pay to have that time back, essentially. I like the idea that you can, if you have the option to pay for how valuable you think your time is. When I got to their house and I was telling them how much I loved that idea, that like there's that option to pay if you want it. And they just looked at me and go, Capitalism, baby. <laughs> but in that case, I like the idea that you could, oh, stuck behind a bloody mixer. I like the idea that you can, if you have the option to pay for how valuable you think your time is. All right, I'm not gonna film running into the building, dropping my stuff off and then going for lunch. So I'll pick you back up when I finish lunch and We'll go see these two spots, the casino maybe, and wherever this football pitch is. I kind of want to just fly the drone, so we'll go see this boat situation thing. Nice. All right. I'll see you in a bit. All right, I'm going to Bally's Casino. It's a bit warm in here. Don't want that. Turn it off of the heat. Where am I going? Oh gosh. I'm getting on here. Lovely. How long are we going on here for then, chaps? I gotta take a left up here, I think. So, uh, just looking at it through the satellite on maps, I guess we'll get in front of this car. It's like a I don't know if you really call it a boat. It's something that floats and it's kind of inland. I feel like I've seen something about American casinos are okay if they're floating. Like, isn't that something in the Ozarks? 
I don't know, but we're going to see. We're going to fly the drone around this one. I feel like you're falling. Okay, let's just... Oh, God. I'm taking a right exit. I'm going to get over three lanes. What is on the back shelf of your car? Is that a small dog? A squirrel? It's a wig. It's like that scene from Pineapple Express where Seth Rogen gets changed in the back of his car with his different outfits because he's a server. You've been served. Looks like you can... Here's a sign for win tickets to see Taylor Swift live. What is the obsession with Taylor Swift? Let's just... Can we just... What is that? Like, respectfully, Taylor and Travis... Who the fuck cares? Who cares that you guys are dating? I don't. I think I've got in the wrong parking lot. This is a casino. Casinos are normally type of weird about security and stuff, aren't they? So this is a floating casino. Yeah. Bus entrance only. Maybe I can park that fat ass in there. Casino right here, garage parking though. Look at this. That's a casino. But it's all floating. All right, let's turn the car off. We don't need a quick getaway at the moment, do we? All right, the drone. And of course, you need someone to watch you when you're flying one of these. So my friend is in the car next to us. I really like FPV, right? Which is a drone like this, which you can, you can do flips and things with. That doesn't mean that I can do flips with them. But you can do flips and everything. So, oops. I think they're really cool. They're really fun. Oh yeah, when I handed my laptop in, my manager was just kind of like, great, thank you very much. Um, need anything else? Let me know. It's a super, like, impersonal experience to be quitting your job. Like, appreciate you working here for the last five years. Now go F yourself. I'm sure it wasn't quite like that. Man, it's hot in this car, isn't it? I knew I will have the... Oh, it's windy, isn't it? It's very windy. I'll get it going. Crazy windy. Look at this. So it's basically, yeah, so like it's covered in water over here. Obviously, I'm not flying right now, by the way. I've got a friend flying. Wow. So is this how they get away with um, running a casino somewhere? Can I go over here? It is so windy, dude especially over the water. I'm not even willing to do any of my cool stunts. Yeah, okay, so super. Look at that, that's kind of nuts. OK, 
Okay, let's come back. That was kind of boring. I thought they were out on the actual water when I left today. All right, not as cool as I thought. So now, and it's just too windy, sorry, to do something. Maybe we'll go out and fly it one morning this week. Yeah, it's Monday, isn't it? But now let's go see this um, outdoor football court that was built. I'm kind of excited to see this because something about America, it's so hard to find a decent place to go and just kick a ball around, you know, an actual field or something with a goal. There's just nothing really like it. It's all privately owned, which is kind of rubbish. Now, I don't actually have the exact address of this place, but I'm thinking, I looked at it before. Okay, eight minutes from where we are. Let's go. It's on the other side of Kansas City from the way I want to go. Oh, what was I just run over? I don't know. I've always said to my wife that we should just go out and like we should make it a thing to go and drive a whole road like you know how America's built out in block systems to go and drive a whole road and see just you know just to explore and see what we see but you wouldn't be surprised to hear that we have just never done it for one reason or another Time, of, time is kind of pushing though. It's half past one now. If the video's going live in two and a half hours. Oh, there's that new stadium. I could have just flown across the river and had a look at it. It looks quite nice though. That's meant to be the biggest women's stadium or women's soccer stadium in the world. Nah, that can't be right, can it? I don't know, but it's bigger. That women's soccer stadium is meant to be bigger than the men's soccer stadium. I don't know if the men's is a sellout every game, but if it isn't, then I think my like honest question, not out of just being an a-hole, is how are the women gonna fill up? How are the women's team gonna fill up a bigger stadium? Because I don't know if I see more people going to watch a women's soccer game than a men's soccer game. I've never seen the KC current play, so that is just based on women's sports in general. I have a feeling this field is in kind of a dodgy area, but I'm not sure. In fact, everyone, not everyone, that's a little exaggeration but the the second video i made of magnet fishing where i go down to like the plaza area of kansas city the plaza area is a nice area but on a map it says that it's a very dangerous area which i kind of just stated and now everyone's coming at me in the comments how i I'm scared of everything, which I am, that's fair. <laughs> but scared of that area. And it's not actually meant to be that bad. Okay, I'm sorry, the internet is always right, especially when you get information from Wikipedia, so I don't know what you want me to say. All right, so on a serious note, I, I, I maybe I might actually be a bit of a scaredy cat for a lot of things, but that, in my opinion, comes from being, like, wary. Like, if I'm told a place is bad, and I go there, I should be wary, shouldn't I? Panicking there for a second. <laughs> Wasn't panicking, I was super cool. 
Yeah, if you're told an area is bad and you go into it thinking it's absolutely fine and do your normal thing, then I'm not going to say you deserve what's coming to you because I probably normally would, but since it's on camera, <laughs> I would say you should probably be wary. All right, first and thoughts of the area. It's all no trespassing. Violators will be prosecuted. That is a sign on their house. I feel like that's not a very good sign. It's meant to be somewhere right here. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Also in partnership with the KC Current. No one using it. Should we go and have a look? Um, I don't know what I've just pulled into. Pull into here, maybe? And just go across the road? Let's do it. Oh. It's three spaces here. The middle one is disabled. And that's the one I pulled into. Okay, I'll take you over and we're gonna have a look. All right, here we are. Now, I wouldn't say it's the most inviting looking place. Got a nice field over there. Very nice. God knows what that thing is. Okay. This is kind of cool, isn't it? This is sweet. I would come here on my own and play. Hello. Uh, patent pending. It's all um, black player stuff. Like black players for change. I'll tell you what, like. As a, a white person, coming here to play, it feels weird. Like, to forget, I'm not talking about, like, let's not get too deep into it. Like, I'm glad there's support and stuff, stuff for communities, but it feels, feels weird. It feels like because of my skin color, I shouldn't be here. Now that might easily be on me, but I don't know, part of me, just the way I feel, I just feel that this is that this place isn't for me. I'm not allowed here is how I feel. Two states, one city, one club. Together uh, together there will be change. I don't know. Should I not be here? I don't know. What's going on, man? Feels nice, though. Looks nice. Feels nice. Looks like it can be popped up and moved whenever as well. Like, it's all on these, like, rung things here. All right. Interesting. I want to come back up here and play. I don't think there's, there's no denying that that, 
there's no denying that that's a like hard topic to talk about. But if I kind of just share how I felt being there, like I'd say this area is kind of a poverty stricken area. And with that, crime rates are typically higher, which it just is what it is. But the question is, would I feel, if I want to go and play football, yes, that, that's a kind of a cool location. But how did I feel being there? And again, this all could be completely on me. It could be a perfectly nice area. But I didn't feel like I belonged there. I kind of felt like an outsider. And I felt that if someone took offense to something I did, I would be in the wrong place at the wrong time. If you know what I mean. So it's a shame, but I feel like... I think, would I go back there to play football? Number one, it's kind of a long way out. Number two, I don't think I would for the potential risk. Now, you could very easily call me a wuss. Tell me that I've got it all wrong and actually it is a nice area. But I'm just going on the information that I have. I mean, honestly, it could be equally dangerous just driving with me. It's a shame though, I wanted to play there. Oh, what are you doing, bruv? I find that with driving, it's just a case of whatever you're going to do, you're like watching all the time. And then when you go to do something, you commit to doing that. By that, I mean like if you're gonna change lane, check your angles and everything and then go. Don't check your angles and then fanny about trying to work out if you should go or not. All right, left for today. I don't think we're gonna have time for it, but we're gonna finish the needle mat video and post that. We're going to edit some clips from the YouTube channel to go up. And I don't think we're gonna have time, but plan out the Red Bull video. I think we'll just leave that for tomorrow morning. I go, like I've been thinking, I'm going back and forth on whether or not we talk on here about the whole clips, you know, putting clips up on TikTok and Instagram and stuff. and if that helps grow this channel. And I thought it's kind of a cool experiment to try. Like maybe it doesn't work. Maybe there's something that I'm missing that I might learn along the way. Maybe I never do. And especially the process of um, streamlining it so that it becomes as little work on me as possible. Like I'm interested in learning how to do that. Am I wanting to do the work? No. But it might be cool for you to know how to do it once I might work it out. Because right now it's just taking too long. But we're on day four, and I think we've gone up by two subs. Like some of the videos have done, I don't think anything's broken a thousand, but some of the videos have done pretty well. Like a couple of like six or 700 views maybe. Maybe I should I keep like a spreadsheet that we tap on once a week. And we look at how many posts have been posted, how many subs gained. I don't know, we'll just have to keep it very high level. And then we'll map it out over time. Yeah, like we can see the growth happening together. That's kind of a weird way to put it, isn't it? Because you'll just see it once a week, unless you go and have a look. 
I think I've yappered. Yappered. Yappered? I think I've yapped on enough. So I'll just see you when we get home. <laughs> yeah. All right, we've got it done. I'm actually quite pleased with how it's come out. I'm not leaving myself a great deal of time to check it over. But I would say for this one, watch this one flop. I've had enough experience in making this type of, this series do well, that I should be able to make it do all right. So it's, it's 4.15 p.m. and I'm gonna load it right now and someone's gonna give me a slap on the wrist for making it do rubbish, but. Oh, can I hear Mr. Woogies? Mr. Woogies! I can hear you. What are you doing? Judah, who is it? Who is it, Judah? <gasps> Look at those shoes, dude! Look at those shoes! Can you moonwalk? Crip walk. Do the gritty. Do something cool. Nice. Alright, your wheezing has given me an idea. Do you need to go out as well, Lila? Uh, not you, you sausage. We're talking to Lila. <laughs> okay. What? Dude, how cool are these shoes? So I was thinking, as we do the... the feels like prickles, then feels like sunburn, and then feels like biofreeze. Biofreeze, maybe we'll put like... Like something searing. I'm not really sure what for that. Maybe like the sound of cream going on for the prickling. What does prickling sound like, Rugi? And then... Oh, I actually... I'm going to call my screen for this because I feel like... Um, what is it, Rugs? Artlist.com, I think that's the website I use. I haven't used it in so long. Show details. Oh, artlist.io. I think they have an AI feature. If I can log in. Sign in. Here we go. Honest, like I've used so many of these types of music services and this one is so good. I highly recommend if you're looking for one, this is it. But I thought I had an AI feature now. What are you doing, Rugs? You know what, I'm not gonna bother with this. Okay, I think that, that's, that's it for the day. I'm gonna post this one. See you tomorrow, and I'm hoping this, like, big deal, the one I mentioned this morning, maybe I can share some information, hoping that comes through, so.